It's Mr. Burley at St. Elizabeth Catholic School. Today using Creo Parametric 2.0 or you can use Pro Engineer if you were using it. It, it. it still works with that. I'm going to show you how to change a .sec file into a solid. Often my students will be working and they'll be at a, such a position on the model. Uh, class comes into the class, they go to save it and they accidentally save it as an SCC because it's in a, a situation where they can't be saved as a solid. or they also uh, could possibly click uh, create new sketch instead of create new part or they could click sketch instead of extrude there's a few different ways it happens but nevertheless this is how to rectify it or fix it so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go new part now I'm using I'm going to use my exact the example we're using we're making the chocolate molds we're just going to draw the standard base the chocolate mold base um, Tangle tool. No. Tangle tool. Okay. Normal. Change this to eighty five. This is not really part of the sixty. And okay. Change it to six millimeters thick. And click OK. Now, <coughs> what we do is click. Now we're going to bring in the actual SCC file. So we click Extrude, Placement, Define, sit on that face. Then we click File System. I'm going to bring it up, make it, make it bigger. Click file System. Locate the file. Mine in this case is on the desktop under John Luca and it's SCC4. And now you notice the little black or little cross there. I'm going to change it to the view we would be normally working at. And you go right to the center. Well, I'm in, in this case I am. Now you see it comes up big. I'm going to go back, change it so you can see it a little bit nicer. <coughs> Excuse me. You can change the ratio here. You can change the angles, different things. We can move it around, or you can just free free form it here. You grab the corner and bring it down to as big as you want. Now you can grab the center and you can move it around to wherever you want. Okay, and then just click OK. We're going to go back to AB. I'm going to put it in default orientation. I'm also going to change it to shading so you can see it. And when we click OK now, it comes up to the solid. We can bring it down wherever size we want. Click OK. And there you have it. That's how you rectify it.